on the A side of the map, and now they want to end B. Good high tide through. Here. And they should be able to get a spike plant. They want to fight into B Lincoln. That's great because the door wasn't broken yet. So Zekin alone on this challenge against three. Alone and he's weak. Just 51 HP for him. Lean ball Marv getting one. There it is. A funnel into Zekin. He was able to take one with him. Classic Marv on the flank too with Saucy there. Yeah, this is weird because the remaining members of crew are all going to be playing in Worm in that area of the map right there outside of panel. And this is, I mean, against Frenzies, remaining. against Ghosts, this is not what you want to be set up for. Challenge aim in again. Cruz out. What a dash from Kesman. And what a dash from him. It's very well handled. You can see they were ready for some of that aggression. Brawl aim in. Cruz just going to walk about. They got melted by those Nana Swarms last time. They have to do. They have. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> all you can do is, all right, next round. Poor Marved. Yeah, that's a truly unlucky. A deep flash, a second one out from Saucy towards B. Let's count the IGL death win rate for Marved. <laughs> is he Angel? 30 seconds left. Ten's getting dropped there by Klaus, and now Seeker's used. Mankata, once again, is going to have to try to hold the line. Tucked behind the wall. But the spam fest continues. Shield going out. Did that code? I don't He's think he was covering outside it. of the code. Yeah. yeah. That was close. He still managed just to get the spike down, though. I mean, they'd have to push the waterfall to get that anyways. It's yeah. not the biggest deal. Second, looking to get a little bit more value out of that party. And remember, it's hit 3K in the previous round. This players are so close, though, here from crew. And there's no flank pressure. Yeah. No flank pressure. They're all playing on site, as you were saying. You got to spam through that to try to get a kill. And Melser's certainly worse for wear. Just 9 HP to him. But a flash in the face of the one remaining member of Sentinels in Sopsy. And that's Each just... of any nano swarms. Yeah, I mean, Pan They're going to go for it, though. You move. Reckoning in, yeah, they have this choice, actually. They put the high tide up to deny some of the vision early on. Trailblazer cleared, spike planted. Where do they go from here? Ten's a moment to shine. He has a fast lane to get out. How do they use it? No, there is no lurk or anything going on for Marv. He's joined alongside the rest of his team. So nothing like that that Kerr are going to have to deal with. None of his antics. The opener is certainly going to help. That's a second kill going down. Make that a third. One I mean, they're just remaining. able to demolish what Kerr have put up here. He's saving. He's got to. There, there's opportunities for Molly through the little window there inside of a link. But <laughs> I was like, get up. I mean, on the other side of the timeout that we saw, it hasn't been any aggression towards A. It's been a lot towards B, or C, excuse me, and this time they're rushing A again. Good jump spot. And Zekin is I've got your really trailer. getting the info down here. He's getting the info, and he's doing it from a, an area of safety. Right, still dips in and gets a kill. This is very well done. Flash now, too. They got to fall back. He has Saucy now to flash for him. That's not Saucy. No. <laughs> Go, Tens, go. Do Tens things. Planted. And God is here with him, but he's on the opposite side. Yeah. A little audio. They cue. all went tree here, throw. though. Last player standing. And they were all there waiting for him. They all looked at Tens, though. <laughs> they all shot at Tens, too. Bot coming back. Yeah, it looks like Pankata is just playing for exits here. I think he's going to go for a ninja defuse. You think so? Yeah, what do you think? We haven't had one yet. They're going to open the door, all run that way. Yeah, there's the door. He's going to take away the turret somehow. That's step one. What's step two? The turret goes away. They don't check this. Powers. He kills them all. So I think there, they recognize the situation. You they noticed run. it was only Zekin playing on the site, and they're happy to push that. Speaking of pushing, same setup from Saucy and Tens, and they're getting Bomb deep here. Out. Very deep. I think Tens has gotten past the alarm bot too. I mean, the only thing that's has a potential to spot him is going to be the turret. I wonder if they can wall it off. No, he just shot it. Or that. I mean, it's good because they got to go fast here to cover out the spaces and suffocate them into their own pit. Second's already fallen. Traded back though. And that, the Seekers, yeah, that could be the problem here. As long as they don't get broken before the pit. Wait, the pit's down? Actually, I shot he was the one to fall. Marv playing on the other side of this wall for now. Kesnit weak. Sentinel starting to encroach upon the site, slowly taking the space. 
first dash to break the cross area. A 2v4. At some point here. There's just no real knowledge. There's no cue that that's where they are. But they're going to push into the panel. They're going to push into Makata. And he's flashed. He still gets a kill. Meanwhile, Tens goes aggressive. Just two left for crew. Make that one. Huge from Pankata there. Yeah, I think Pankata with three on the round. Well, hang on. We're not out of the woodwork yet. No, he has to get spiked, though. This is so tough. Yeah, actually, never mind. We may be out of the woodwork. Seconds left. Even if Pankata goes down. Oh, he has? Yeah, Zekin's nowhere near him. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, that is the worst betrayal. Top 10 anime betrayals right Pankata there. In the same position. The big success last time was Pankata getting into B lane. Whoa, they're really close. They don't not, expect this. It's so deep. A one for one. Kesnit looking for another, but Zekin cuts things off at the perfect time. Right, what a cross. And that was a cool idea there from Crew. They don't throw the orb the spike. because normally Ashuddy is actually throwing that orb slightly later in the round. So they just walked up past and try to fight before that orb even lands and it almost catches them Boys by surprise. I, mean, I, I think they should have gotten more there. I think they should have gotten both kills on that site. Yeah. If not for a second, they're controlling the cross from stairs. Yeah, the wall timing was really slow. Yep. Last player standing. Just one left now for crew. It's Davies who does have the spike. Oh, turn down. Got so much trying. info. They stopped the cascade early. That was a little odd. Oh, yeah, it's very odd. The first time we saw it run off the map, the second time it stopped, this time it's in the middle of trade. Oh. Has it going up top, dropping tens. Blade's still on mine. Now they're gonna have to get through the lockdown. They're gonna have to give all this space back unless Ashadi goes absolutely bonkers, which he is in a position to do so, but he's gonna be by himself. And he can't hold any of it. Sentinels fill the space. A uh, deep flash out from Sasi as the spike continues to kick away. Melser is only able to get one, but Klaus helps too. Just two left for Sentinels. Numbers cruise away, including the key one in Kesnit, who still has blades. It's so 1v1 standing. now. Marv, how cold can he be? The tap! It's a right click out from Kesnit, not landing. He's going to have a Sheriff now, and that's going to force the hand. Oh, that's a great start. Zekin might be able to end the round himself. Oh, they've trapped oh, him. No. They've trapped him. Oh. He's trapped them. He's trapped them. And he stays. He stays tucked. He doesn't go back B. That's going to leave him in a really nice position for a late flank. 30 seconds left. The thing is that Alarbot's not going to do anything either, obviously, because Davies is dead. So the rest of crew are going to funnel out onto the side off the back of the Reckoning. But Sentinels want to flood. Look, they're already on site. They're dropping in from the heavens. And they're both dropping down into the next round. Spike down A. Second's seconds going to be on left. this late flank. And Saucy... Attempts to delay for just a moment, but Kesnit's got him red. That timing is so unlucky. Second's gonna have to make a big play. Two to deal with. Oh, and it's just one. Marvin and Sassi are once again ahead of the play. They're gonna be rotating over to A before Kruer even out. And it's gonna leave Pankata in this brutal situation where if they try to get him through panel, he's gonna have to do it on his own. 30 seconds left. Seeker's invested. Sassi trying to run. dance around it. Locked on use. Pankato's waiting in the judge on the other side, and you can see Marv is ready for it too. What is 15, happening? Yeah, 15 seconds left. They managed to get the spike down. Seekers and these guys have a judge and a stinger. Can a, they actually get vandals here? Such a labored fight. I don't know that they're in a, Yeah, they up. both have gotten vandals. They used the Seekers to pave the way. Now a 2v2, class yeah. 53 HP. You've got Davies, who's all the way up in heaven, making sure there's just nobody pushing him from spawn, but that may be too much for class to handle. Deals with the first. Fake flash to buy time. Sassy's gonna have to do it on his own. Oh, Card sacked against him. How does he deal? Nano in his lap. Flashback side, a second one. Just biding time. Four bullets left. Is that gonna be enough? Davies, healthy. The tap. It's a swing and it's a kill. The cycle is down for Machete. Sun back sight. Attempted to clear the nano, does go off, but doesn't deal any damage. They've been able to navigate around it, dance around the utility, the traps that have been left, and have done so flawlessly. That hit was really nice. The paranoia and the pathing specifically from the Sentinels player is really good. Three player flank from crew. The alarm bot did spot them, but I mean, how do they understand that it's three on the other side? 
the flash that stun is so good. How? What a great response up from Kesnick. On this scrambling here on the back of sight. Davies is a little bit slow to get here. He's gonna have to be pacey and Pekat is there. He's ready, he's waiting, but he wasn't ready enough. Time is a factor. 2v2, it's all on to Melzer. But you're right, what? May, the big may be the big difference maker here. Zekin tucking, Zekin. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What do you do with that? I mean, he pulled out his knife. Things are falling apart. Both sides of the map, they're getting go, go, go. kills on. Tens is in. I'm out of here. Tens is out of there. And he's back in. The paranoia to clear the way. Yeah. You see the set of classes waiting on the other side with the flash to try to swing around it. He does. Okay. Davis with the spam. And that's one kill. Trailblazer allows them in. The cascade too is really good. Melser has gotten so far Not up. Enough. Second cascade to block it even further. Wait, but he's gonna be past it. I've got your trail. And now they're dead. They've invested the seeker super early. And well, I mean, I guess if you've got it, why not? Hey, cool. Oh, what is this? Cas yeah, they're here very quickly, very aggressively. Zekin got stuck, but Saucy right trained A. right back. I mean, you see the difference in confidence for both sides. They're just committing to a spray. That's not something that you're gonna look for. He's really just looking for the one kill instead of going for more. And that's all he gets. And in fact, loses two players because of that decision. And you can almost see the kill, seeing where the X's are in the minimap. You can almost envision exactly how it went down. Lined up, spam through utility. It doesn't get much easier than that. A quiet pause in the action. Just a temporary one before Sentinels now start to re-explore. They've got Kaznit with the op. We we're just saying, two traded back. 30 seconds left. A collat, Spike picked back up and he saw it go up, but what I don't know if they saw was Marv slipping through right into Kaznit's crosshair. That right there was everybody playing like Marv. And you could see the call. Let's dry walk. And the thing is, inexperience maybe left. in situations like that, Calling in that instance against an op. Easy now, that's a shorty on the other side. He's just dropping down, even for him to dash forward. We got this. Melzer ult. He's coming out of, oh my goodness. It's so obvious at this point where you're ulting as Omen when the C hit is coming. Oh, I think it was that, and then also swinging very quickly off of the paranoia. Doesn't leave much room for mystery. Somehow, through all of that, Sentinels are gonna manage to get the spike down. Spike planted. Somehow, Kessin's found a position to actually use the op here on the flank, but, oh! <gasps> he has knives, too! Barb is close by, Saucy is too. It's one for one for now. There are the knives, and the knives connect! Flank, and they explode right out on oh, the side. Oh, he's dead. The nanos, everything, man. He just gets melted instantly. What a hold from Davies. Down, C. This might be even much sooner than we expected here after that start from Sentinels. I mean, remember, that was a four round lead. We were 10 6 at one point. I mean, this high tide, too. They don't know what's on the other side. Now they know that at least somebody's committed to it. But especially with Kesnit flanking last round, they really don't have the space to go back. 30 seconds left. Shadows traveling. Once again, they cut noise and they pause for a moment. Last player standing. And it's just another death. Davies has the ace, potentially on the other side of this. He's gonna get the first Q, now you have the wall. Paranoia, everything. This is Much more like the, like the pistol hit that we saw. Yeah. And also you could tell no dashing in there because they're so worried about what happened to Tens last time. He got melted, I mean, three mollies on top of him. It's just gonna be a 5v5 retake. Kesnick slows Welcome the op. Hit down for Marv. Actually, he's close to his, but he's still one away. If maybe he gets a spam kill, he can drop his too. Wow. They're investing everything into this one. This That's is... now the pit and the lockdown. And Zekin's got a shorty way up front. That's Ashetti getting one. That's a pit now flank. online. Davies has a chance to rip it open, but Tenz actually rips his head open in response. Cove. The Molly actually missed, but the spam is good. It's just too much. That pit is down now. But he's gonna try to get out, yeah, with the op. Yeah. it's already won by crew. To swap. Entirely. 
That flash will confirm. Looks like Davies is already postured to go yeah. for his lockdown. We saw it be such a big impact last time when Kese got the kill on the flank. I mean, this is one way to try to disrespect the harbor utility. But when you have classical spies spamming through that wall that's intended to provide cover, it's a difficult situation to navigate. There's that lockdown that you were just mentioning too. 30 seconds. And they're gonna walk right into Klaus. Over and over, he gets three. 11-11 late in this opening map, this best of three. Zekin not getting hit by the flash. That was not far enough. In fact, it flashed his teammates. Davies never saw what hit him. That was really missed time on that wall dropping. They're looking for the flash through the wall as it falls. And the flash was so shallow they didn't even catch anybody. So Zekin easily punishes and I think they call it cancel way late. So now Sentinels with the advantage. I mean, obviously crew. 30 seconds left. In a lot of these situations, they'll, they'll look like they're the worst because of the minimal map wins that they have, but they're not good in 4v5s. They're, they're not, I mean, they're not good in 5v4s either. I don't know that they're gonna fare much better in 3v5s, but I suppose you're gonna have to take a shot at it. Testing it still with the op. So much value's been had, and man, I mean, even if things go back. sideways, he gets his. The wall, oh, but he pushes aggressive, Ash and he's a lunatic! And Ten still gets the kill, this is the call to save, I imagine. Gotta be. Nobody pushing upstairs here. Tens is just exploring, seeing if he's still staying. They're looking for, oh my goodness. Is he gonna go one more? Seconds left here again, he's flashed, he's dead! Oh my goodness. They're pivoting all towards B, remember that round where they walked in. They got shut Destroyed. out. This time the tools aren't there, but Tens gets spammed so hard. Oh! What? He's full stunned! It's a 5v3 now. It's turned into a 5v2 crew. Looking to send us to overtime. Perhaps doing so in flawless fashion. As Pancada ruins that, spoils that. But they you still see Pancada pivoting over there. Tens as well. Got the and they're not looking up. for it this time. They're going to flash through. Dash through. Hit. Sassy's here. He goes unchecked. That's the first one falling, the second one in the spike follows suit. Now Seeker's invested, dancing one around the stun. Second got two out of nowhere too. Uh, Davies left in an impossible situation. Five targets, five bullets. But the spike nowhere near. Full set up again. Remember how oppressive this was. But this time, as soon as the wall goes up, you see some of the utility used. I don't think Sentinel's ever really intended to go that way. They clear the alarm bot and they get a molly out. Running back to the old faithful C hit here. The dog, the flash from Zekin. And Tens goes the other way. This is nice. And he's the only one up. Tens is doing this on his own. Now they follow suit. But the site has been cracked wide open. Very well could be the finishing touches on this opening map. Klaus, Melser, and Kesnit with much to do just to extend it. Ten's getting tagged a little early. But Spike ticking away. Time is of the essence, and the shorty's not going to do much from that distance. The Vandal's not either, but Klaus's does. It's a 1v3. Swings around the corner and... Clashing! Freaking 4v4. Ten's already proc, already killed. Looking for the second. Sassy's close by. See, the frenzies erupt. And somehow through all of that noise, it ends in a 2v1. Where did it go? The thing just ignored its targets. Went to go kill Pancada. It's his teammate. They're flipping. They have to know, right? Given where it's planted and given their positioning. Perhaps a suspicion. I think he must have broken the trip. That's why they're so confident about that. Uh, Which gun do you go for? Plenty of choices. <laughs> I'm really skins the in there too. Cage going up. Double face. But they're so close too. Oh! He's gotten them. TP. He's gotten them isolated, but he's out of bullets. <laughs> he was out of It's crazy. It's aggressive. And he wants it. Well, Ashetti's gonna go. Oh! Nice response from Tens. Avoiding disaster. And the nade as well, delaying them out of bathroom too. You could have seen a reaction in there, which, given the information Ashetti saw, 
That would have been a free site, at least a walk out of site. They would have challenged them coming back out of short. But the timing on the nade from second is, is perfect to keep them back. Smoke out of Marv too. That flash spotting nothing down long right now is a big indicator. That flash also spots if they're walking up sand. If you get the timing right, it's perfect. So right now, Zekin and Tens, who just wanted to rotate a second ago, now can stay. There's a confirmation tool on that flash. Saucy just used the second one into sand. So off of that, they're starting to creep back towards A. The Brim smokes down, confirm the suspicions. Marv, the first one to take one down. Crew still haven't really gotten out. They haven't really found their footing. Uh, and they can't save here. I mean, they have bonus weapons. Davies with a big one. They're locked out of bathroom. That's where the spike is right now. 20 seconds. They've got to get out. Davies needs to find a little bit more pressure here. Apply some presence to alleviate the pressure. <laughs> Spike in the showers, and egg. it's just a bit late. And Zekin's reposition just Ten is a nail in the coffin. Left. He has to run to get the spike. I don't think you can get the shot off. Uh, uh, no. uh, uh, Davies, as the Cypher player, is able to control so much more than regular. Just having a Sentinel on this map. Obviously, Sentinel is lacking that in their composition. Oh, I mean, the amount of times I've seen that this game. Yep. Does not to use it. Wisely, too. He Did uses Molly. I don't think he saw him. Tuck in that corner. No, he could be spammed completely. In off the flash, it's difficult, but there it is. I got it from behind the box, gets to. Last player standing. This is gonna be the else out of crew. Off of contact with tens. He's abusing their wall. The gap that's left in the wall on the attacking side. Tens just fills into the space, gets a kill and gets out. And again, isolating that one in the default of crew. So early in the round, you're losing the Cypher. And that Lurk Threat is gone. Has it. Whoa! Looking for a deep one. I like it. Almost connected. It's pretty cool. You see the response, second out. Much closer, much more accurate, much more painful. Crew once again left in a position. I believe this is his third round, maybe fourth round in a row now where... I mean, they're getting so much freedom. Yeah, they are, and I think it was primarily, I mean, Davies is just bullied. That guy never had a chance. Captain, it was a nice trade with the Sheriff, but... They've given up the site because of that, and again, remember the round that crew won, that Shetty just oh dove God. straight up in the pipes. Now, note here, Tens died, he lost the weapon, but it doesn't seem like crew are in a place where they can go back and scoop it up. Oh, absolutely not. He's not. his own vulnerable right now. Too close. Yeah. And that flash has got to be good to be able to hit both. None left. Just going to wait things out. That orbital strike is going to hurt. That's going to hurt. I got both. One enemy remaining. I mean, you waited patiently to get it's the not kill. Planted for him. You, but that's it. Oh, it is actually. What? That it, hit. There's not time. With the shorty. Remaining. That's a kill onto one. It's getting decayed. You're yeah, there's no time. Pakata has no time. You're right. Crazy position for second. It's a fight on both sides of this wall too. The thing it's it, this nice. I've got your train. Nate is going behind them right now, but it does split up the hit, so only two players from crew up. They're gonna go for it again. He's scaling so far up. Oh, and he gets a kill on the second. Just pre-firing. Spike planted. Tens has arrived with the op, and he's up in heaven. This is the big problem. Retaking is so frequent on bind. It's the big problem with running jet at all on this map and opting on this map too, but the player's making it work through laps. And Tens also, with the pressure applied, able to easily pick out. Elser left all on his lonesome. Before regrouping and here's the regroup. Second has his ult though, but Brimble, he's still in laps. He doesn't take a single tick of damage. Flushed out, stays healthy. He can ult over top of this whenever there's the plant. And there it is, on to Kesnit. Tens used his ult as well, the blade finding, uh, connecting on the clouds. They're planning the flip. Looking for more, he's oh, three on the round, that down. flip was filthy! I mean, yes. This team here, crew. And next week's Furia. Well, Whoa, sand job. crunch. Look, yep, look at the pinch. I know it. How? How does he get another? That's criminal! Tens and Zekin. Razel for Kesson, he can definitely end up cleaning out this round. Spike planted. Tens have access to anything else? I wonder if they left a, a rifle or something back to spawn? No. 
I think it's just the op. He dodged it? Excuse me? Goodbye. Oh. Close. 35 HP. Tends to start again to get activated off the spawn right now. He's just walking out. They didn't peek him an elbow. Fire in the hole. Last player it's standing. It's for the swing and Zekin dies. Last round Welcome two has to, to pop it. Yep. Yeah, it's just doing such a good job at buying time too. <laughs> buying some space and... Oh, that'll be why. <laughs> There's a nade that we were looking for. Pushing Davies off oh the site. Uh, Trying to create some of that space. This Mechad is able to get one, but melser has been able to hold things back quite Overwhelmed. nicely until falling. Still 3v3, because it does have backside control still. Spike Sentinels planted. looks like they want to go for a flash out once it comes back up. Last player standing. That's a frenzy from a distance. Very well done. But still much to do here. Klaus, that was winnable. Look at how... What a hero they're waiting for. I wonder if there's enough contact. This orbital strike could be problematic. Oh. And there it is. They're all there. Nobody dies, it out. but yeah, damage was dealt. Sasha has heal. He gets the kill? Ashetti! I mean, they TP'd on the other side too. They've completely flipped it. Catch the tier! Yeah, he's already ahead of it, man. He was halfway across the map when the teleporter went off. So he knew where the play was going. Get the spike, he just got it. And the Vandal 30 too. Seconds 30 left. seconds to pivot. What a chaotic round. The fact that they're able to reset this is insane. I'm surprised that Klaus is staying. He doesn't actually know because Pankata did not TP. Whether or not he's flipped around. Kaznit looking showers. That's a big one. That's the spike. That's the round. He's got nade too. Back up. Wait, can I still get this down? He doesn't even he didn't even pick it up. Oh, oh, oh where is it? Where is it? No time. He had a shot at that. Yeah, he did, but the nade was gonna deny him the plan anyways. Shoot back! The nade, the flash to clear bench. Do you have a Molly to kind of keep things back? Yeah, the nade is gonna help too. They try to funnel their way out of showers and they get through, but they're beaten. They're battered for it. Spike down A. Spike that down, Ashetti in a really One good position here. He has to try to make a play. You see him running across, trying to control Dude. the spam. He's got the spike. He's out. 14 seconds. The cam is up. The trips are up. So Ten repositioning is going to be difficult for Zekin after he gets the plant down, which he will do. Where can he play this? He still has an eight, and that's the ult. Yeah, that's huge, actually. No satchels. Oh, God. Oh, oh, yeah. And he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> no help! <laughs> so they know they want to pivot. They don't want to do the same thing twice. Two trips here. Klaus close by. Davy's not far off either. How come they can't get out here? It's, I mean, they're just decayed, right? You try to funnel your way out, and you've got the Viper wall, you're taking damage. I'm waiting for these trips. There's a kill trip. Oh! Welcome to my world. That would have been disgusting. Yeah, that would have been really sick. We've been robbed. Either way, 4v4 here, the pit down. And the spike planted Marv Nizzle. Stop, it doesn't get very much. They're playing for Molly's right now, and Marv's Brimble. Pankata's delaying so long with his pit. Molly. There's Molly. That, nobody's on site right now. Woo. And they might not even clear Pankata. Davies almost snuck up on him there. There's no chance in this round anymore. No. Get out of my way. Yeah, one-two combo. Hit, but there's just not enough time here. For hellfire. Hey, well done by crew to draw out the orbital strike. One enemy he walked back into it. Oh, no. They're gonna rotate off. You're right. They've left Tenzer. That Trailblazer's gonna spot. Is that drawing of the rotates? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Ashetti making a massive play down the pit. You're still gonna get have, have to get past all these trips. I mean, look at him. The first one down. But again, the wall that we talked about. Oh my He's delaying for now. Davies. What a rat. Anyone dare try to funnel. Anyone dare try to waterfall and it's right into his crosshair. Trade it back though. 3v2, Spike's still not planted. That's a good one. He's gonna look for another and he gets it. He's got a 1v1. Dashing away. 66 HP. Time. Short. Health. Low. And Ash Eddie. Pankata waiting to see if Henson's gonna be flanking around. The Trailblazer went under the trip. They didn't clear it. They're trying to spam it out as well, and they haven't been able to. That's a problem. Yeah, it is. Second's dead off of that. Crew once again able to keep things back. They saw him. They saw him. That's no position, position, and they got, got a 2v1. How? There's no flank coming in. Hachetti's coming in from spawn. Plank going to go down for Marv, and he's going to have that Brimolt now. Pankata's falling back to guard, and can Marv get there too? Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, 
Davies has already been pushed off of this early stuff. They've used the Seekers. Good clearance here. Second going in, they both fill into that space. Do they scale into elbow? Can they clear Davies too? Do they know he's there? There's a little shy. Second repositioning. You hear the ult used as well by Kesnit. Just he's creating to more throw chaos. It into the vent right there. Creating don't more know. chaos. You're right. They never oh, cleared him. Five. He gets three and now an upgraded weapon. And where did that Molly come from too? It's perfect. Out of the players from they, crew. They have no idea. Look at Kesnit. He's going all the way back A. Eh? Not understanding that Sassy's behind him with the spike. They're just guessing at this point. And yeah, you're allotted the benefit of that, given the fact that you have teleporters. Oh, that camera is so close to spotting the cross here from Saucy. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, he's gonna go for a 1v2 to close out the map. 30 HP. And the series. Cleared. Kesson's gonna go through the TP. They're double approaching through Hookah, but Saucy is not aware of where Davies repositioned. He hears them both now though. That's a big one. Not able to win. There's a benefit of having two controllers is you could afford something like that, but Melser's about to get pushed out of that angle. He just a spike right out of his cheeks. You got stunned, they know. Dead. You gotta be careful of the oh! showstopper. It could be friendly, and it was. Second overheats a little bit. That's one of the ults used. With the two kills, they're going for this. They still have one left. They only have one phantom. Did they gamble a little too much? Swapped. Just for a second there. I mean, this Cypher will give so much information. Pencata has a molly. One might be out already. There it Second is. one out, too. Marvel they have the pin as well. There it is. They combined to vulnerable that. He's not in a position. That's early. He's not in a position to help. I could see He's just got a shorty. Remaining. Oh, oh my gosh. To end it. Can he do it like this? First miss oh. the second does not. 